Welcome, friends, to another edition of Tiffin Box TV. I'm your host, Seishu, and I am so thrilled to have Heidi Peters with me. Now, Heidi Peters is a photographer based in Chicago. She does portraits, she does commercial work, and she's also the founder, co-founder of Shoot Along. Now, you're probably wondering, what is Shoot Along? So, Shoot Along is a, a really a year-long project, in fact, where people come together, mostly parents who are interested in photographing their families. And I was so intrigued by this that I signed up last year and I followed along and I just learned so much from them. Uh, even though I didn't really participate every week as it that intended probably, I was intrigued by all their lessons. And, they, and, and these lessons come from from professionals, really. They're really teachers teaching people how to make better photographs. And so, Heidi, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for having me. It was fun. So, uh, how did this idea come about, really? I know everybody's, probably this is the most asked question. It's like, how does Shoot Along even, like, how was it born? It happened, Amy and I, who is my co-founder, Amy Triple, uh -huh. uh, we get together every once in a while. She's another professional photographer here in the Chicago area. Get together, chat, um, and it was near the beginning of the year, and we thought, what should we do for ourselves? Because we had just come off the end of the busy season in the fall here in Chicago. That's huge, you know, the fall colors. Everyone wants their picture taken. We thought, what can we do for ourselves now? We haven't taken any pictures of our own children, oh, <laughs> you know, all right. fall. Hmm. We got to change that. Um, so we thought, let's set up something to keep us accountable. And that's really how it was born. It was built for us in the beginning. Uh, we set up a project for people to photograph their children throughout the year with the idea that that's going to help us photograph our own children. So that was the little, the brainchild behind it all. Fantastic. And now you started off with just a pilot of 150 photographers. And then Correct. now yeah. you've got you've grown to probably a thousand or more. Is it, do you have uh, a number last you can give us? Year, so the first year we did start with 150 just to test it out, see if this was a great idea or not. And it ended up being a great idea. The second year we had 2,500 people wow. join the project. And people want to photograph their families in a way that's beautiful and meaningful and they want to be held accountable. It's a it's something we all want to do better. So right. yeah, and now we're starting the third year of the project. It kicks off it kicks off actually on January first, uh, like you have done in the past. Mm -hmm. Um what has challenged you the most about this project, the side project of it? Because you know you run a busy busy <laughs> studio and this is sort of like the side project that also is very successful. How what has challenged you the most about having this online website or online forum? I think it's what challenges all of us is just staying accountable and and doing it every week. I mean, we have so many things we want to share in terms of technique, um, inspiration, how to deal with your pictures after they're done, you know, with the editing or saving them or keeping them organized in your hard drive. So there's like this endless amount of information to share and it's getting it all out to people in a way that they can use and manage effectively. So it's it's building that structure across the whole year, I think is our like our big challenge every year. What can we do to improve? So um, this year, for example, we've added editing videos into the mix because a lot of people, they take the pictures and then what do I do with them? You know, how do I make them beautiful? How do I add the magic? So we've added that this year. Oh, fantastic. Um, fantastic. So, so you, the, you're actually handholding folks who haven't ever edited a photograph and saying, hey, this is how to do it, right? Correct. Excellent. Yeah. Wow. That's yeah. that's phenomenal. Um, you know, it, it takes away from this uh, pressure of finding those videos on YouTube and, and not really understanding the, the basics, perhaps. And what you're giving people is sort of the foundation and then building on the foundation by saying, hey, here are the videos showing you the steps to go take it one step farther. Right. Right. Uh, uh, when it when it comes down to now that you have the shoot along, do you have the time to still photograph your families? Oh, yeah. Our own families <laughs> yeah, or your clients? Own, your, your own families now. Yes. I mean, I think that is what makes us um, stick with it, too, is as we develop the lessons and we think, oh, I need to take a picture with rim lighting or backlighting or something. And then you think, oh, okay, this is my opportunity to go and make that picture and make it what I want. So for each concept that we teach, sometimes we go and take a fresh picture just to to practice that skill again. I think as professionals, sometimes we fall back on our favorite techniques and we don't challenge ourselves to 
try stuff that, you know, we know what it is, but we don't really try it. So this is a way to practice those skills um, again and again. It's like a sport, you know, you kind of, you know what you're really good at, but if you practice some of those skills that you're not really good at, you actually get better overall. So absolutely. You know. Yeah, I completely agree. And and uh, one of the things, again, I love about Shoot Along is that it, it is, while I think the, the initial, the genesis of the idea was really geared towards parents, photographers who have families can also sort of tag along uh, shoot along mm -hmm. <laughs> and and photograph their families throughout the year and and see what they can they can produce for for themselves i i you know as a family photographer i immediately jumped on this and i said oh this is great and i continue to photograph my kids all the time uh if i get a piece of equipment for instance my the, my first models are my kids you know oh right uh, oh yeah naturally you're like <laughs> i got a new lens you yeah. know Quick, stand over by that window, or you That's know, right. whatever. That's right. Yeah. I, I I just got a a new flash yesterday uh, for my 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 um, Fuji X one hundred T, and I'd never used a flash on it before, so I was so excited. And so, sure enough, I put one of my kids, on, you know, in a place, and I said, "Hey, just stand there with the computer in your hands." And I photographed him, and he loved it. And he was like, "Take more, take more," you know. Yeah. So he they get involved as well. Um, when when it comes to when it comes to uh, to the community aspect of shoot along. What do you, what is, what has really inspired you about, about the community? We've um, really watched people support each other in the community. So last year we had a, a forum, a private forum where you can interact, ask questions, post pictures. Um, and we loved watching the people help each other, um, give feedback and, say, well, you know, why don't you lighten it in Photoshop or why don't you try it again and change your shutter speed or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, this year, we've got an even more exciting platform organized. So instead of being like a text-based forum, it's going to be a picture-based forum, more kind of like Pinterest. Well, it's very much like Pinterest, um, where the pictures are constantly being fed in and you can see them very quickly and give and receive feedback more quickly than having to go back and forth. And so it's, we just love this new forum. Um, so you, and, you've really retooled shoot along. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's like all new again. And, um, we, we learned a lot from some feedback that we, we asked for feedback this last year and said, what do you guys really want next year? And they told us, you know, people told us and we, we ran with it. So, because it is a community based thing, it's not, it's, it's not us teaching down, to these, this group, it's, you know, here's your skill, go practice it and share it and learn it. So we want to make something that everyone's happy with. Yeah. Uh, at, at some point, are you expecting to have a, a, a place for perhaps contests within the group? Or is that, is that something you've considered? Um, we don't do want to make you, it, you don't want to make it competitive. I guess we don't right? want to make it competitive. We want it to be, we started out in the beginning saying, this is not going to be a competitive place where you're going to go and see stuff and be overwhelmed and feel like you're not worth it. Um, okay. okay. Yeah. So we've uh, really avoided that. Awesome. I mean, we like to do giveaways where you can win stuff kind of by chance or whatever, but we don't want to, we don't want to make anyone feel like they have sure. to. Yeah. Well, one of the things I think we should also talk about is uh, you've got some wonderful companies working with you, uh, uh, you know, Artifact Uprising, uh, uh, Minted, for instance, Photo Jojo, MCP Actions, wonderful uh, place to get presets and actions. Um, th these folks are all offering members really steep discounts, right? I'm assuming mm -hmm. that when they sign up for Shoot Along. Um, how have you worked with these folks in the, in the in the in the past, I guess, in terms of getting those discounts to the photographers, are they are they? There's a simple thing of just here's a code, go use it, or is it more of a? Yeah, I mean, we love these companies. We yeah. reached out to these companies because we personally love them. We admire the products that they're making, so we reached out and said, "Hey, we've got this really great group of people. You know, let's let's talk." And they all responded very positively, saying, "We'd be really happy to give you discount codes." So throughout the year, we're going to introduce different discount codes at different times because you know you don't want to have your christmas cards discount in in february that's no good you know so throughout the year there'll be different discounts from these companies um awesome we just can't wait yeah. uh, give us an idea uh as to what one receives when they sign up for shoot along 
That's a great question. Um, they're going to get a weekly email. So it's very much like a magazine subscription. It's a year-long subscription to this email. In the email, you're going to get a lesson with a concept to practice on your own, um, an editing video to show you how to add a little magic in Photoshop. You're going to get an interview with a well-known photographer. And this is something that we are really excited about this year because the photographers are going to be sharing their own family picture. So this is not something they've done for a client in a big setting with huge lights. This is something they've taken for themselves. We're going to talk about the technique behind it and their motivation behind it. And these are some amazing photographers. Um, and then there'll be some kind of discount code if it's relevant or something that's happening. I mean, there's always something interesting like popping up on the internet about, oh, they found the, um, the in Antarctica, they found stuff frozen in the ice and, you know, and here's these photographs from a hundred years ago and oh, it wow, just yeah. things that inspire us, you know, right. as photographers outside of this community, things that are in the bigger world. So a little bit of something like that. Awesome. Um, awesome. yeah, it's, Great. it's a really nice, well-rounded set of tools to help you each week. So uh, for, for those, uh, photographers listening in right now and are sort of on the fence about starting a 365 program or, a uh, uh, even a 52, like, I know, <laughs> uh, photos a, a year program, if that's that's uh, ha so hard to, to, to really manage, this might be really the thing to do, you know, to be able to get involved in a, in a community's uh, a level and have people account uh, or sort of responsible for your for your for your work in a way, you know, they're they're sort of spurring you on and, and urging you on to make better photographs, you know, what better way than to be a part of a community, right? Right. I mean, I think the member board is where you would find that community. Right. Um, a lot of people in the project, they do do 365 or a 52 and they they integrate the two together. And the nice thing about shoot along is you can make it what you want. So if you miss a week, no one's going to kill you. It's not like you've screwed up your 52. You know, it's fine. You went on vacation or you were sick. That's fine. You you can go back and look at that lesson and try again later. Um, and I think that the the community is kind of as much as you put into it, and that's what makes it exciting. Fantastic. Um, the website is shootalong.com. I'll have a link, up, obviously, uh, to the site. Um, it's a beautiful site, beautifully designed site. I believe it's redesigned, if I'm not mistaken, right? Is it? Yeah, is it we, we cleaned it up. We, and we cleaned it up, yeah. Polished it up, yep. <laughs> it, looks, it looks fantastic. Um, it looks very inviting, very warm, um, and, it, and it doesn't feel like it's over the top in terms of like um how do i say this you know it doesn't it doesn't put you on the spot you know it, it says come in and check it out come in and hang out with us uh it has that sort of vibe to it and i love it i absolutely love it um is there anything that my audience should know about shoot along moving forward in 2016 well, in terms of expectations or in terms of uh what they should be doing uh to make it a success for them well i just um want to make sure that people know that it's for parents sure whether you're a professional or an amateur it and we have both we have we have all levels who join the project i think that's a and great caveat seen, that's a great caveat yeah. because i think a lot of phot photographers who are listening in who may be professional may think okay this is only for professionals and really it's meant for parents first so if you're a parent and a photographer right. you're in the right spot Correct. I mean, we have some amateur photographers on there who are amazing. Oh, I mean, sure. mind-blowingly good. So inspiring. And then we have some professionals that are not. You know, so there's a whole range. It's, it's people who are passionate about photographing their own children. Right. So uh, we invite professionals to come and be a part of the community. We invite beginners to come and be a part of the community uh, and support each other and grow in your creativity. Great. Thank you so much, uh, Heidi, uh, for joining us today. It's been a pleasure talking to you about shootalong.com, a, a wonderful community of photographers, parents and photographers uh, who are really trying to do the very best with their their time, <laughs> I would say, yeah. you know, right? To find yeah, the time to photograph, be, yeah. find mm -hmm. the time to photograph their own families. Uh, and I think for if there's any sort of a of a 
of a resolution for me at least it is to make more time to photograph my own kids my own family uh, in whatever activities they're involved in so um, I'm excited to be a part of shoot along uh, and the community that you're building so thank you for doing that appreciate it yeah thank you we'll see you there okay take care bye <laughs> bye, bye.